That's Nick. And that's Joseph. And today we're here to talk about The Witches, the 1990 Nicholas Rogue directed film uh, that was based on the famous novel by Roald Dahl. Uh, it's been put out on Blu-ray August 20th, courtesy of Warner Brothers Archives. So this, uh, this film was a lot of fun. Yes. I don't think I've seen it since the 90s. Uh, yeah, probably about the same as well. You just informed me it's based on a book. By Roald Dahl. I did not know yes, that. Sure it is. Roald Dahl's a man? Yes, who wrote okay. uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, okay. Matilda, okay. the BFG. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Is that about that big tree? The Big Friendly Giant. Oh, The Big Friendly Giant. Oh, that was not a good movie. I didn't like that film. But anyway. But that was a cherished book as a child. Okay. And so was The Witches, which I had to secretly read because my parents thought it was New Age. Um, Thanks, Jana and Joel. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so it, the plot is pretty simple. Uh, a group of witches in England have gotten together uh, for a conference at a hotel. The Grand High Witch is played by Angelica Houston. Angelica, yes. Uh, Who plays the, the German Ms. Miss Ernst. And her goal is to eradicate all children. Mm -hmm. uh, so her plan is to have all of these witches buy all of the candy shops and dispense this her best potion yet that will turn all children into mice. Mm -hmm. uh, it's ridiculous, but it is so much fun. Yes. Angelica Houston is perfect. We were talking about, well, you had mentioned the other um, actors who were considered for this role. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Like Sigourney, Sigourney Weaver, Weaver, Faye Dunaway, <laughs> who I think would have been amazing. Cause this was after, um, this was 1990s or filmed in 89, but this was after um, Mommy Beers. Yeah, after Mommy Dears and Supergirl, where oh, she she was Supergirl. No, she oh she's Supergirl's nemesis. Oh, that's right, that's right. I do know that. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Like Jodie Foster was. Uh, no one wants Jodie Foster. Liza Minnelli. Wow, that would have been. She might actually be a witch. Um, um, I read that Roald Dahl was very happy with the casting. Oh, she's yeah. perfect. Yeah, she's every, every perfect. look. Every look. She's. I think she's stunning. Yes. Uh, just the way she moves. Uh, her voice. That would that. Yeah, her, just all her, her little effects. This is post-Oscar win for Pritzi's Honor. Oh, okay. Um, it's the same year that she did The Grifters, Stephen Frears film, where she's the, the con artist mom of John Cusack. Fucking excellent movie. Uh, and, and right before, she played Morticia. It, you know, it's a great yeah. period for her. Yeah, I mean, this is such a fun movie. I'm just going to go through my notes because I feel like there's no point critiquing this film because it's such a good time. It's such a great movie. It, it, no, I love it. I think it yeah, was, like, it's such a weird... It, it kind of captures the darkness of Roald Dahl, but also it's a, a bit childlike and innocent, too. So but, I like that it is... Like, I can see this being something that would appeal to children, but it's really an adult yeah. comedy yeah, without the vulgarities. But, um, so my first note was the grandmother. Played by Mai Zetterling. So pitted against, so I guess the protagonist of the film is this little boy and, and his grandmother together. But Luke um, is at the same hotel with these witches conference. And he gets turned into a mouse pretty early on yes. in the film. And it's so much better once he does. Oh my, well, we're going to get to that too. But um, he, his goal is to, um, he like, well, because he's not trying to be turned back into a boy because he knows he can't do that. Yeah, he, he's resigned to his fate. But anyway, the grandmother is, it, the beginning of the film is the grandmother explaining to Luke about witches. It's very, like, kind of almost Princess Bride opening with the grandfather. The yeah, but all I could think of was, like, this poor boy's going to have PTSD from yes. the story. Yes, <laughs> Which I find funny, like... Um, scare the hell out of yeah, him. Yeah, she's scaring the hell out of him. Next, um... And then his parents die in the car accident that That's day. right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. So, and they're in... Oh, God. where They're in whatever home country she's from because then she moves them to England with one of the... That's right. Um, when the witches, so part of, so the witches natural form is not appealing. So they disguise themselves as humans, as human women, human women, also men in drag. So they then witch. they don't, they, they have to wear wigs, but the wigs make them itch. But the wig game in this movie is very entertaining mm -hmm. because it's not good. Mm -hmm. Also, most of the witches that we see in the conference are men dressed as women, mm -hmm. which I find very interesting yes. because there's no mention of that, which like, I find very amusing. Like they're just supposed to be women. They're just regular. No one's questioning it. Because <laughs> male witches are warlocks, and there's no sussing out of terminology. I wrote down Wendy Williams in my note. 
Do you wonder, Do you, can you imagine why I would have, maybe she would have made a good... She would have made a good witch. Wendy Williams, if this movie gets remade, you should play it. It is being remade right now. Robert Zemeckis is directing it. Yes, I have, I've anguished over the casting. Oh, we don't know. Maybe? <sighs> Anne Hathaway is cast as the Grand High Witch. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Somebody... Can no. we do an online petition to make Wendy Williams the Grand High Witch? Well, somebody had commented that Ava Green should have been uh, a contender for that. I want a more mature woman to be the Grand High Witch. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. It's just like fucking Emma Stone. Faye Dunaway could be the group. Yeah, she's still still good. So could could Angelica Houston or Sigourney. I think Sigourney's a little too pretty and nice, though. Oh, well. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, But it's like Emma Stone playing Cruella de Vil. It's... Yeah, I'm not happy with that. Either. Oh, Eartha Kitt was also talked about as a potential. She did. But she, yeah, that yeah. would have been fun. Yeah, that would have been um, great. My next note is there are a lot of like, especially with Angelica Houston's character, like her, like when she sees the child turn into a mouse, like she's moaning, like these sexual moans. Yes. And the grandmother sleeping is moaning. I found that interesting. Because it must be delivered. And the grandmother is is, is explained an, adver- an old adversary of the witches because she tells a very creepy story, as you had said, about a childhood friend of hers being caught by a witch and placed in a painting where she grows old and dies. Which was um, also a really cool story. Yes. But I think that now that we're talking about it and the very uh, the Germanic pronunciation of everything Angelica Houston says and Liebchen, her black cat, I she's a Nazi. I, th- I think that her age and the time... <laughs> I mean, I, I'm into it. Killing children. And she the, is evil. In so. a case of money. Yeah, she's never, evil. Yeah, it's never explained why she wants to kill children. Because her plan obviously backfires. And the only surviving London English witch is uh, Jane Horrocks. So, yeah. So, that's important. Yeah. So, uh, the Grand High Witch's assistant is played by Bubble from AdFab. Mm-hmm. And uh, kind of, she's treated poorly by the Grand High Witch. Like her secretary. She is her secretary. It ends up being like rel- uh, relinquished to her room for the evening one night and uh, obviously is bitter about it. So in the end of the film, which was my last note, she turns Luke back into a boy. Yeah. And I guess I didn't quite understand like why she wants to do that. Like, was she always a good witch in yeah, hiding? Maybe. or did Well, and how she's dressed too. She's, she's got that white, blo- yeah. blo- white, blown out, blonde hair. She's whatever. Like, Are you a good witch? Yeah, whatever. It's fine. I don't need it to make sense because it's such a fun movie. No, it is a lot And of it's fun. short, too, which yeah, is my dream, like a fun short 90 film. minute flies through it. So this was directed by Nicholas Rogue, who died last November, sadly. Whoa. Um, what what else did he do? Walkabout. Uh, I haven't the man, seen that. The Man Who Fell to Earth. I haven't seen that. You don't Look Now. I haven't seen that. You have seen that. What's that about? That's with Donald Sutherland and Julie Christie, and the, the kid died, and he's following that little... Child, we thinks it's child in a little red raincoat, and there's all oh, sex scenes. Yes, 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 excellent. I have seen that. Yes, okay. uh, quite a few other things. In fact, he was supposed to be uh, make a adaptation of a Martin Amis novel uh, called Night Train with Sigourney Weaver around the time we first met. That never came th- came about. Okay, somebody well, else made it. Carol, so rest in Carol peace. Marley. Anyway, uh, yeah, Nicholas Rogue's a very, very important, uh, notable director. He started out as a cinematographer. Um, and then crafted his own unforgettable films. Okay. But well, uh, yeah, I would give this film. Oh, and Mai Zetterling, who's a notable oh. Swedish actress, okay. who became a uh, director in her own right. Uh, you, you thought she looked like Emily Blunt. Well, no, Emily Blunt looks. <laughs> oh, like yeah, her. Emily Blunt looks like her. I kept. I couldn't help but think, watching it as an adult, of Louise. She looks like Louise Fletcher to me, but. Who's that? Nurse Ratchet. And also Sigourney's. From One Floor of the Cuckoo's yeah. Nest? And oh. also in A Map of the World, Sigourney Weaver. Oh. And many, The Exorcist, too. Lots of things. Okay. Well, I would give this film. What would you give it? Ooh. I give this film three and a half out of five. Of I was five. going to say three and a half. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm tickled that it's on Blu ray. Yeah, it looks great. The sound's a little. Yeah, and then the the the, the uh, special effects too. The special, I mean, they're practical. They're fun when they're not practical. That's when they look 
So like, you know, when he's turned into a mouse. Luke and that fat little boy are so much more cute. Oh my <laughs> God. Them as the little mice is the cutest yeah. thing ever. And I'm fi like, I was, it, 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 I think that just fits with the tone of that film that they look that way. Yeah, it's great. It doesn't take the only reason I wouldn't give it four is the story's a little weak. The lore of the witches and why they do the things they do. It's, it's not developed at all. No, it's very basic. It is. So that's why I wouldn't give it four, but it... And I want to say in the book, uh, Doll's prose was a little more in-depth than what happened. I would hope so, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's the only reason I wouldn't give it four, but it's still a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, definitely recommend it. Do you have anything else? Uh, no. All right. Bye. Bye.